what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button now um today i look a bit crusty i was not supposed to come to work it's so crazy and um yesterday i had the worst night ever i was feeling depressed i was crying so my eyes they are so painful um Please do not mind the noise in the background. Today, Friday, I had a lot of plans. I had planned to vlog um, as I go to different, uh, you know, stores, different places where I try to get, you know, Black Friday promotion stuff. And uh, but I was called early, early in the morning to come to work and do some stuff, which literally um, disturbed my whole plan. I had also planned to, you know, uh, go and certify some documents because I want to apply for graduate traineeship. You know, I I went to college as well, so yeah. But it seems like my plans have been disrupted. I feel so weak right now. I think it's because of what happened last night. I was crying in my bed. I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. Uh, I was feeling very, very low and I was questioning a lot of things. I'm still questioning a lot of things, but I did manage to get myself up and continue with life. Anyway, um, I will come back and talk to you guys about this. Let me just try to do a few things here and there. September we met I can tell by your smile You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while Hi guys, so in another episode of me trying out some Bulawayo restaurant, I found this one called the Hot Plate Greer House. It is along Jason Moyo Avenue uh, Street, by the way. <laughs> so because of uh, the corporate content that they were playing, they were playing some uh, you know, music. I can't let you guys um, listen to the sound. We have to do a voiceover. Now, this place is so, so beautiful. Look at the lights, the lamps. It is so beautiful. They've got an AC. It was hot. Blower at times is very hot. So, they do have an AC. They do have fans that are strategically put around the uh, restaurant. The restaurant is so beautiful with, um, you know, a grunge effect. You will see see it on the side where i am right now you see the wall the ceiling everything is just so amazing it is small but it is so pretty now you see the grunge effect that i was referring to there is this uh, old old bicycle they actually two old bicycles it is so beautiful it is so amazing and one thing that i like about this restaurant is they don't save only fast food they actually cook our traditional meals i was in when traditional meals what is that what is that so one other bonus one other advantage you see that yes you can sit in a restaurant and charge your phone whilst you are at it you know especially if you're a content creator like me you need your devices to be fully charged at all times they are um menu is is just so amazing and their prices they are reasonable i mean yeah so observing the covid 19 rules and regulations you have to go and wash your hands before you eat and they've got soap you know you see me you know washing my hands obviously i had to wash my hands one by one because i'm holding you guys with my other hand do you see but i love the fact that the place is so clean the place is clean and also um the ladies that served me uh actually the lady that served me she was so amazing as as well as the guy that actually took my order he was so amazing and patient with me uh as you all know i'm a sadza eater so i was busy trying to choose what to eat because their menu is just so amazing they have got a lot a lot of stuff to offer look at how the restaurant looks observing covid 19 rules and regulations there is a lot of space in here the place is small but there is space you understand what i'm saying you do 
No, I don't think so. <laughs> you have to go to that restaurant and experience it yourself. Look at that sadza. Look at that sadza and that stew. Oh my gosh. I am starving. Right now, as I'm doing this voiceover, I want to eat again. <laughs> Look at how I'm fighting that. Oh my god. The meat was amazing. Uh, the spices and everything it was amazing one thing that almost it didn't but it almost put me off it was the salt in the meat i am one person who really really loves adding salt in my meat or in my relish but this time i didn't uh, add any salt because the salt was a bit much for the lioness <laughs> But that's the only thing. That's the only thing. The salt, and I, I'm guessing it was just a mistake for that day. Um, hopefully, uh, whenever I go again and try out their meals, I won't, I won't get the same amount of salt again. But the chicken stew was just so amazing. It was scrumptious. The salsa was so soft. Oh my god! Wow, you know it's difficult to eat salsa with your nails, long nails, artificial nails, but I devoured it. I enjoyed the meal. Let me know if you're going to be trying uh, their salsa at the hot plate grill house. From me, Pixie, thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. Look at that plate. Oh my god, I want to go and repeat.